Now types of costing. Types of costing just uh, I'm not going in very in depth about the costing just I'm making you aware different name of the costing okay because costing will go it is a again different science it is totally different science and it is so interesting also how to decide the costing it is very interesting science then here fixed cost not affected with number of units produced that is called fixed cost or you can say FC variable cost it will be directly proportional to your number of unit produced then mixed cost generally will be fixed cost plus variable cost based on the value of fixed cost the concept of break even will be defined means what is your unavoidable cost what is your unavoidable cost that is your fixed cost either you are producing one unit or you are producing 100 unit your fixed cost will be same then minimum if you are you, you are started to make the transaction or you are started to make the business then your first target is your fixed price should be compensated with your revenue means that point is called break even break even can be calculated based on the various uh, various terminologies like number of units produced or number of amount means how much amount what will be your revenue in this range whatever you gain the revenue like this particular point has come like just suppose 10 crores 10 crores revenue has come then it will define your break even then either in terms of amounts or in terms of number of units produced both of the terms we can calculate the break-even point what is break-even point when no profit no loss revenue will be equal to investment sales will be equal to capital okay generally break-even depends on demands and supply that is also another economics uh, area but we are not going to touch here break-even is first target for any any business calculated based on the time period here one of the constraints we will keep like whatever you are planning and whatever your execution will be there that how much time it will take like if today you are functioning your transaction is started as a business then how much time it will take to achieve your break even every business having different different time period because depends on the type of type of industry like manufacturing industry service industry again service industry which type of uh, industry is there then depends on the type of industry one of the normal norms will be there based on the market research how much time you will get to achieve the break even correct then uh, this break even always will calculate it based on the time period and we can calculate in two terminologies either in terms of rupees you can say means uh, in terms of value or in terms of units then profit you can say if you defined the break even then sales minus break even like more than break even break even point is your here now whatever upper limit will go compared to break even that will be your profit means profit equal to sales actual sales whatever you are doing your actual sales just suppose 150 pence 150 pence is your actual sales your break even was 85 pence then what will be your profit profit will be 150 minus 85 65 pence will be your profit in terms of unit if you want to convert in uh, if you want to convert in terms of rupees then uh, 65 pence into selling price of one pen then 65 into selling price of one pen that will become amount that amount you made as a profit again profit percentage then profit total that profit divide divide by total investment here not cost price of one pen we are just calculating the complete complete your uh, you can say your whatever uh, pan uh, pen making company is there we are calculating the profit of your company not for one single transaction pen no need to confuse either we can calculate for one pen what is the cost price selling price and percentage profit or loss or we can calculate a cumulative all the transaction for your company then for your company once you are calculating then total profit whatever you made sales minus break even divide by total your investment loss if break even minus sales means you can say if sales is more than break even then automatically you will make the profit and when break even is less than sales then you will make the loss based on these simple analogy or simple relation you will find logical questions in your profit loss then be careful especially you can say data sufficiency question they will all they will check this point sales break even if sales increasing break even how much should increase